Well, I was around before CPI was created, so I know exactly what the culture was like. Basically, you are ostracized if you are a conservative on Capitol Hill. You're not invited to the parties, you're gonna feel alone, everyone's going to hate you, we're not gonna back you, and you're gonna be miserable. What CPI has done is they've created a, a, a physical location that you can go and be surrounded by people that actually believe that virtue is important rather than corporate interests or whatever person is donating to any political campaign. CPI came in and said, we've got a spot for you here. The Conservative Partnership Institute has really amazing resources that they've offered to the Revere Project. It's an atmosphere and a space that really kind of promotes people learning and growing and learning from each other too. I get to hear about war stories from 20 years ago. Wes, Ed, Rachel, they've already seen this fight. To have that expertise and that experience to lean on is, is invaluable. We have some of the best communicators in Washington, D.C. right here in this building. From Representative Mark Meadows to former Senator Jim DeMint to all the people who work here at a moment's notice can jump into a class and can give next level training to communicators who, who, who are here for it. Amongst the things that CPI would like to and will partner with organizations, we take the full advantage of all of them. So when we film our Moment of Truth podcast, we are downstairs in the studio working with their team, enjoying the beautiful setup and the high quality audio and video production that they offer. The show that I contribute um, to is taped in Nashville. So CPI has really been tremendous in terms of allowing me to come in two to three times a week to tape my spots. Um, without CPI, I don't, I don't think that I would be able to, to have the role that I have on, on the show with The Blaze. Well, people know that we have Secretary Pompeo, and we have Mike Huckabee, and we have other big name fellows. With the caliber of fellows that we have, it's important that we also have good written content and quality digital content. And that's what we get here every time. The media team at CPI is the best in the business. I mean, you have Rachel Semmel, who's doing media trainings and making sure people are using their strengths as spokespeople for what they are fighting for and what they believe in. You don't believe you can do that until you're equipped to do it, and, and that team really has, has done that for me. CPI is a go-to resource for messaging, coordination, and collaboration. What conservative organization would open up their network of supporters to make sure an organization like mine could get off the ground because they viewed this as a gap in the market? And yet, CPI has done that, and we're all going out and trying to do battle on behalf of the American people. We truly would not be where we're at right now without CPI. Whether it's doing live hits for TV or whether it's doing a live stream podcast that we just did last week, uh, the opportunities that CPI can afford to an organization like us from a media perspective, in my opinion, you just can't put a price tag on something like that. When we came across CPI, it was something that uh, we instantly knew that we had to uh, be a part of. With groups like CPI and people like Senator DeMint and the other folks who are on the Hill doing that fight, we might be able to keep control of this car for a little while longer and actually see some change that helps people who really do need help in this country.